Located in the unexplored paradise of the country, Assam is home to many rare and endemic species of animals and birds, and is labeled a biological hotspot for the same, the house sparrow being one of the most common. Symbolizing joy and protection, the cheery and sociable sparrow is more closely associated with humans than any other species. Widely believed to have evolved in close contact with humans, they are abundant throughout India, chirping heartily. Scientifically known as Passer domesticus, sparrows are usually found in groups, communicating by chattering and chirping. Weighing around 24 to 40 grams and 16 centimeters in length, it is mostly found in the Assam Valley and lower parts of the Assam Hills. Usually finding shelters in cavities, gardens and trees, sparrows are dependent on human touch to survive. Easily distinguishable from the females, the males have dark brown coloration, possesses a black beak and white cheeks while the female is light brown and lacks a black beak and white cheeks. The formation of a bond between two sparrows is tied to the holding of a nest site. Before the breeding season, the males take up nesting sites by calling beside them. When a female approaches a male during this period, the male moves up and down while drooping and shivering its wings. Pushing up his head and raising his tail, male sparrows guard their mates carefully to avoid being cuckolded and the most extra pair copulation occurs away from nest sites. Sparrows are particularly aggressive about their eggs, mates and nests during the breeding season. Even though they lay generous number of eggs, only 15% of them are able to grow into adults. The survival rate of sparrows is around 45 to 65%, which raises concerns for the existence of the whole species. Predators and parasites along with diseases are the main challenges of a sparrow. The groups that settle near agricultural fields and farms are prone to the pesticidal poison in the food grains. The salmonella epidemics in spring and winters wipe out a large number of the species. Many of the diseases hosted by sparrows also find a way to human bodies and domestic animals. And if these challenges weren't enough, the newest challenge is facing the electromagnetic waves and impulses emitted by the communication towers that affect their flight, senses and overall health. New buildings, townships and towers that are built do not take into consideration the concept of biodiversity conservation. This has led to habitat and food shrinking for the sparrows and birds altogether. The modern matchbox style architecture in urban cities and lack of trees restrict the birds from building and residing on nests. In 2007, the WWF India commissioned a special study on the status of sparrow population in Delhi. They also distributed custom-made nest boxes to encourage sparrow breeding. In 2012, the humble house sparrow was declared the state bird of Delhi by the then Chief Minister.
while various organizations and the government teams up to take care of the situation of the sparrows, as individuals, we can put our foot forward for the same as well. Creating enough green patches, providing with small birdhouses, water feeders and keeping food grains out in the open for them to feed on are some of the resolutions we can take up for the same. Sparrows are animals of concern as their numbers are decreasing on a rapid scale. Even though the IUCN issued a least concern status for sparrows, it does not take much time for any species to reach the endangered status in this century. The International Sparrow Day is celebrated every year to create awareness about the issues surrounding the survival of sparrows and other little birds and to shed light on their importance and provide proper care and attention to their lives. Because peaceful coexistence isn't possible while the numbers of any species are decreasing unnoticed. With 950 species of birds, Assam is home to about 53% of the bird species found in Indian subcontinent, where 17 of them are endemic species. The state of Assam represents highest number of both endemic and threatened species within the northeastern region. At present, the avian diversity of the state is under great threat due to various anthropogenic and environmental problems. এই যথৰ পৃথিৱীত বতাহ নবলে নিমত নিস্তব্ধ এই পৃথিৱীত সৰাই নামতে প্ৰকৃতিৰ দুৰাৰোগ্য অসুখ হেন কংক্ৰিটৰ বন্দীহালত বন্দী মন আকাশ বিজুলি এই পুতাহালত আমাৰ বৰ ভয় লাগিছে আমাৰ বাবে নাই আকাশ বতাহ পানী দিবানে মুক এখন হেউজ দলিছা মন গলে বাগৰিম খেলিম চৰাইৰ সতে কথা পাতে সিহঁতৰ কলকলনিত নিতৌ হাৰ পাওঁ মোক মোক ক'ত এৰি থৈ গলাই মোক ক'ত এৰি থৈ গলাই